Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I am struggling today. I am so tired. I I stayed up. I didn't stay up really super late because I was, I was passing out like at 10 o'clock, but I was so into that book that I just started. It is so good, you guys. I think I'm about 100 and maybe 120 pages in already. I started reading it about, I don't know, about 8.30ish. Put you up a little higher. Yeah, it's about 8.30 or so. I think I started reading it, and um, I kind of got interrupted off and on how to take the, the animals out and then talking to my husband and stuff. So I didn't really, really focus, like, super hard on it until I went to bed about 9.15 or so. And then it was about 10.30, 10.15, I started really falling asleep, but I was in a really good spot, and I wanted to get to, like, a stopping point. So I had to force myself to stop after, like, a after I finished the chapter but it is really good and if you guys missed that yesterday it's called The Last Flight by Julie Clark. I am going to make myself another so my coffee is brewing but I made myself drink my full thing of water. I did part of today's fitness challenge. I did um, the squats and the push-ups but I still need to do the crunches and the sit-ups. I just honestly like I'm so tired. <laughs> But I will get them done. I will get them done. I did my workout yesterday, which I think I forgot to mention that in the video, but I did show a little clip. I just did a 20-minute um, walking with Leslie video, and then I did a 10-minute like standing. It was like 25 minutes total, so I wanted to do 30, but I did like 26 and some minutes or something, so it was close enough. Um, but anyway... I did those yesterday, so I don't know if that's why I'm tired. I don't know. It, it could be. It could be why I was so tired last night. So I'm going to show you how also you can, how versatile these um, egg scrambles that I made can be. So I have one of the vegetable ones, which I had on Sunday when I prepped these. I went and made just one just in my thing. So, but I'm going to show you what else we can do with this. So I'm going to go ahead and make it in my mason jar. I'm going to add, though, some bacon to it to just because just to add a little bit of flavor because I noticed the veggie one was a little bit um, lacking in the flavor um, just a bit. I added a red pepper flakes and um, garlic and or garlic powder and salt and pepper, but I'm going to add some bacon. Extra protein. I need to use this thing up anyway. Another thing I need to use up are these tortillas. I want to try to do less tortillas, but honestly, that may be something that may be hard for me to give up. But um, And also, Cut the Carb sent me some tortillas to do a couple recipes with. So I have one that, because I've told you guys, the weekends are so hard for me mainly because I'm in and out, running around all over the place. But it's so, it's we don't have structured meals over the weekends. So I thought if I... I'm going to use those tortillas to do something that I don't want to give it away yet because I haven't really looked at the recipe. To, I'm pretty sure I can make it using those tortillas and making it um, low carb keto friendly. That's what's hard. It's, just, it's not a low carb keto friendly recipe at all. So I have to convert it. But I think it's something that if I make it like Thursday, then I have it for the weekend and it's something that I can eat on all weekend that will keep me. Um, you know, at least having one thing kind of prepped for the weekend. So that's coming. But I want to use these up because I don't want to waste any food. That's a, kind of another one of my personal goals, even though I didn't talk about it. But it's so easy to, like, not use up things. And I really want to stop doing that. So I want to use these up. I want to use this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make the egg scramble. And then we're going to turn it into, like, a breakfast burrito with the tortilla, a little bit of cheese, and um, oh, and some green onions. I'm gonna throw those on there too. So make yourselves a little burrito. Maybe by that time it's done, my coffee will be done brewing. I'm doing a full pot. We have a training this morning, and it's been so long since we've done one that I feel like um, I'm gonna need some energy, some energy to be peppy and <laughs> you know, um, smiley and happy. So I'm just, I'm just tired. Other than that, everything's fine. I'm just, just sleepy. My creamer of choice today is the classic chocolate nut pods mixed with the caramel. The chocolate ones are discontinued. I 
when I bought this box off of Amazon, this it was like uh, several, several months back, back in the early fall. Um, but they are, they no longer sell these now. And it's such a bummer because it's one of my favorite ones. Or did I get, did I get that in with a variety pack? I don't remember now. Anyway, it's one of my favorites. It's almost gone because I've been drinking it all weekend mixed together with this. It's been my favorite combination all weekend. So there's my coffee. Let me show you my burrito. It turned more into like a big <laughs> taco. So it did not fit in there as a burrito. So I have to use a fork, which is fine, but does not look good. So another option with those egg scrambles. So you have all the components and it's super easy. Just throw it together. And uh, yeah, so that's why meal prepping is fun. You guys, it's not just one meal. You just can do it to do so many things. So I have my coffee, my cute little mug I got at Dollar General. I am such a sucker for mugs, you guys. And places like Dollar General and Dollar Tree, um, grocery outlets, some of those places have some of the cutest mugs. The cutest. I wanted to start editing Friday's video. I filmed four, yeah, I filmed four videos, my keto information, um, videos that two of them will go up in January, two in February. So I have them all filmed, but I have not um, edited them, edit, edited them. And I know they're going to take a lot of editing because I had to take a lot of takes. <laughs> I was um, with those types of videos, there's like so much information in my head, and I have my notes in front of me, but sometimes I don't stick to my notes. And it, yeah, so I know there's going to be a lot of editing, and I wanted to do that this morning, but it is already 7 18. And I still have my pajamas on and I have a training at eight. So I actually better put at least a real shirt on. I'm not putting real pants on. I'm keeping my pajama pants on. It is cold in here. So I'm gonna put some real upper level clothes on and but I'm gonna do that and eat a little bit. Um, yeah, so I think I'll do that. And I'm gonna look at my planner. Tonight's dinner is sheet pan kielbasa, so I don't need to take any kind of meat out. Um, last night's dinner was good. It was not a hit with my husband. He's really trying to eat better, so he agreed to at least one healthy meal each week and one maybe substitution. So I told him, I said, well, I wanted to save a little bit of money, so I did two healthy meals this week for him and one healthy substitution. So we had, when I had the whole roasted chicken on Sunday, I made him meatloaf because he can't eat chicken he's allergic to chicken so for anybody who's new that's why i have to make two meals a lot of times um but i made mashed cauliflower on the side and he knew like he didn't know what it was he knew it wasn't mashed potatoes because of how kind of thin they were but um yeah he did not wasn't a fan so then last night i made that ratatouille and i made him a meatball ratatouille i made mine a chicken and yeah he was not a fan of that either tonight is the sheet pan kielbasa so it's another kind of healthier meal so for him because there's gonna be lots of vegetables um but i will be filming that so i can have another sheet pan meal for you guys i'm filming all my dinners that are new this week i filmed the ratatouille also so that will be up next friday every other friday i have plans for what's for dinner videos as long as i have enough meals to show you guys but so that's the plans every other friday so we'll see tonight's um with the kibasa i'm gonna do green beans broccoli zucchini yellow squash yes i'll just sell that um for the with the kibasa so so we'll see we'll see what he thinks um it's not like he's anti-vegetable. He's just very picky about the vegetables that he does like. So like he said, the cauliflower, he said he would have preferred like steamed cauliflower versus a cauliflower mash. He just wasn't a fan of the mashed cauliflower. He said if it would have been whole steamed cauliflower on the side, preferably with cheese sauce, <laughs> then he would have been happier. But um, I said, well, that's good to know because I never would have thought that. So get the feedback from your family and just make adjustments. So anyway, okay, I'm babbling. I need to go. I have 10 minutes, 13 minutes before my lunch ends. I had to make a impromptu run to grocery outlet because all of my avocados I bought this last weekend were rotten on the inside. Like they were black, which is weird because the outside still felt okay. And then when I opened them up, yeah, bad. So I went and got avocados, but I swear like today would have been, I mean, I didn't have as much time to run around because I was like probably 10 minutes into my lunch that I discovered that. And so I went to grocery outlet and oh my gosh, you guys, there was so 
many things there. So many, but I, I just, I passed up on most of them because I didn't need this stuff and I'm trying to watch my budget, trying to watch the process stuff. But just so you know, um, that company that Dr. Axe owns is called, uh, Ancient Nutrition. Never tried any of the products, so I can't tell you anything about them. There was so, probably every product <laughs> that they have. I mean, there was the bone broth, there was tons of the exogenous ketone products. Um, there was protein powder, tons, so many things, and the prices were really good. So tons of that stuff. Um, almost every Primal Kitchen product that I've ever seen of theirs was there. All their dressings, their ketchup, um, but I do prefer, prefer the, um, I don't like their ketchup all that much. Um, I like the Jehu's ketchup and I also like the Heinz ketchup, which probably is not as good as a Primal Kitchen. Um, what else did they have? They had all their mayos, um, the different mayos, tons of chosen food stuff. They had like their avocado spray, which I don't like. I do not like their avocado spray. I feel like the thing leaks and it gets all over my, um, shell, my cabinet and it drives me crazy. So I didn't get any of that. Um, but I did get... Let me show you. Well, I got some of these mozzarella balls because I want that in my salad. These are the marinated mozzarella balls. So good. Um, I'm making a BLT salad basically with avocado. So I have some lettuce, some of that turkey bacon, some tomato. Then I'm going to put avocado on there and some blue cheese dressing. And I'm going to put some of those mozzarella balls on there. So then they also had a ton of drinks, like so many drinks. Um, there were... A ton of them in the refrigerated section. I'm trying to think of what the brand was. My hands were full because I didn't grab a basket or a cart or anything because I plan on just getting avocados. So I could not take screenshots of anything. But right now, my grocery outlet is just loaded. So go check it out. Maybe it's just the season. But they had these things that I had never seen before. So they had this flavor of the Boltouts Farms Protein Keto. I get these for the weekends because I'm on the go so much. Um, so all these drinks are going to be for the weekend. This is um, mocha truffle latte. So it's three net carbs. Um, these have quite a few calories, so I use them as a meal, but I've never heard of that one. I'm a little bit nervous with the truffle part, so we'll see how that goes. Then they had these ones. Um, one of them is a vanilla bean, the other vanilla bean, and the other is dark chocolate. 20 grams of protein, one gram of sugar. Um, there's not added sugar. The vanilla bean is two carbs. The dark chocolate is four carbs. Um, 12 fat, 13 fat. So there's these. So it's K I I T O. Um, it doesn't say anything about them being keto on there. So I think it's just, they are meal replacements, fuel on the go pre or post workout. Um, so the vanilla bean has coconut milk, pea protein, a vanilla extract, ashw ashwagandha, <laughs> rose extract, maple extract, Himalayan pink salt, vanilla bean, and monk fruit. The dark chocolate has coconut milk, pea protein, cocoa, vanilla extract, chocolate extract, maca root, which is super good for you for your hormones, um, Himalayan pink salt, and monk fruit. So these are super, super good. I mean, they have just really spot on ingredients. Um, no dairy, no gluten, no soy, no preservatives, no um, gums, non-GMO. Yeah, so... This is a kind of processed stuff that I am allowing myself. Now, this one's not as clean. Um, this has coconut milk, pea protein, erythritol, MCT oil. That was the other thing. There was a ton of stuff with MCT oils there. So anyway, that's what I got plus my avocados. So I have to get back to work. I will show you my salad. 